Robin Slim Show. Hey, what's going on? It's Anthony. What's up, what's Anthony? On, How you doing, dude? Fantastic. Nice. Where are you tonight, bro? I saw on your profile it said New York and New Jersey. Yeah, I was I, I was in the city this morning, but I'm uh, I'm home now. I love Looking it. at uh, bodybuilder porn for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I liked your tweet of the the shit on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just people shitting all over the place. So I don't, I don't get it. Like that's well, I'm not even exaggerating. That's the second pile of shit I've seen in two weeks. <laughs> wait, wait, where was it? Like, New York City. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I heard that was starting to happen in San Francisco a lot too. Really, it's like, a big problem out there. Just like, hobos or yeah, anybody? Just like... homeless fucks, just shitting everywhere. <laughs> Mentally ill homeless. <laughs> <laughs> and radio hosts like Opie. I, I was gonna. I saw your an O and A fan, Anthony. I I didn't know if you heard the recent. Um, Opie and Jimmy yeah. thing. Oh my God! Yeah, that's crazy. Right? I, you know, it, it's it, it. I I I've met Opie. He's a nice guy. I have too. You know what I mean, like he I, he was nothing but nice to me. Yes. But every time he gets in an argument with somebody, it makes me want to hate him. But I can't <laughs> because he was always nice to me. But it's like, oh God, they want to fucking hate you. But I can't because you're nice to me. I worked in radio for a while and. One of the people I worked with had trained him when he was first starting, and when I met him, I asked him if he knew her, and he was like, yeah, tell her I said hi, and he was really nice. He's like, yeah, I'm glad to hear she's doing good. Uh, her name is Robin Lane. She works at The Rat, and uh, like I said, when he originally started in, I think, Buffalo, she trained him and all, and I said, you know, she said to tell you hi if I ever ran into you, and he's like, he was really nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's weird. It's like, and, and then I listened to... Uh, Anthony show today and his response and I'm like oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> I love a good train wreck though I love a good fight so I'm enjoying the shit out of it but yeah what was his response because I can't I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not subscribed to his podcast and I it hasn't been uploaded anywhere yet uh he pretty much he just went over line by line like how he's saying oh all this behind the scenes stuff and all the, I guess, um, you remember Danny that you see on the show? Yes. Danny Ross? Yeah, I love Danny. Well, I guess they did an AMA with him on Reddit. Uh, they're going to ask me anything. And he basically said that Anthony was this Twitter account that used to just post horrible shit about Opie. But he wasn't. He's like, I never was. He goes, I, he goes Danny just said that, like, fucking around. <laughs> he believed it. You know? So he's like, I, and he, goes, I, he goes, I have enough fucking problem arguing with people. On Twitter by myself, I don't need to create another account to argue with people. <laughs> so Danny was just being a wise ass and said that. Yeah. Oh, but that's great. <laughs> Opie's just, I, I, we were talking about it earlier. He's just fucking lost his mind, dude. He's just the yeah. paranoia. And, and Anthony, blaming Anthony for the fans hating him and shit. I'm like, what, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, it's crazy. It sucks because I'm such I'm such a big fan, you know. Like, Same here, I used to man. go to all the events and friggin', you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. Like, ah. I I always looked up to them. They they were my fucking. We've been called hacks, you know, ripoffs at, at at certain points by some people. And I I just I was always a fucking huge fan, dude. Yeah, I, I always get I always get compared to Jim Norton. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, you, you sound too much like Norton because I'm a comic, and I'm like. Well, you kind of like comics that you have shit in common with. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. He's a piece of garbage. I'm a piece of garbage. So we <laughs> sort of, I, we, we have that in common. Nice. You know? I, I remember Patrice when he was still alive saying, you know, you guys, to Owen, Open Anthony, he said, you guys have a lot of babies out there, meaning, or children, meaning there's a lot of shows that emulate, you know, what you do and all that. Yeah. So, yeah, he's like, everybody has, has children, but you guys have the most. Like, he said that, and it's just, it's a cool format they had set up, yeah. man. Like, the yeah. hang, fucking hang out interview. They were, like, some of the first guys that kind of started doing that, right? Yeah. Yeah, just they yeah. Didn't, didn't ask, like, comedians to do bits. They yeah. just talked to yeah. them and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, the, that's, comedians hate that. And it's just unnatural. Like, you know, yeah, do your do your act right now. Like, <laughs> you can't do that shit. It yeah, just puts you on the spot. Really <laughs> yeah, you know what? I used to be like a big Howard fan, like in the '90s. Same here. And um, huge Howard fan. And then like, then I I came back. I, I was in the Navy. I was in San Diego. So when I came back, I came back to New York. It was 
2000, 2000, 2001, and it was right when they started to hit. So it was like, at first I was like, oh, fuck, these guys are ripping Howard off. But then I started listen, actually listening to him. like, oh, actually, they're not even ripping him off a little bit. He, you know, he's like, they're sort of doing their own thing. Yeah. yeah. And it, then just listening to the fight that they, they kept having. And you know what I'm saying? Like, and then Howard like started coming up douchey. And I'm like, eh, yeah. you know, I don't really... And now, now Opie's that, doing that. Yeah. Exactly. Like, what the fuck's exactly. going on? Yeah, and if you have, if you have uh, accusations or whatever, just say them on the air. Like, he told Jimmy, too, like, because Jimmy's like, well, what, what do I have to read about it in the newspaper? And he's like, yeah, yeah, you're going to have to read about it. I'm not yeah, talking to so you about shitty, it. Like, like, dude, you've done a show with him since the fucking 90s, and, and you don't trust him to... to Tell them shit like that. Yeah, you're, that you're pissed me off. Guy, you kidding? Exactly. <laughs> you sit across from him next to him. Exactly. Exactly. How long have you been doing comedy, Anthony? Uh, about three years. I haven't been doing it that long. I, I just, I always wanted to do it, and I was just a bitch, and I just like, you know what I mean? I was always like, ah, oh, I feel like a fucking douche. I don't know what to say. And then finally, a uh, comic friend of mine, uh, he's like, you know what, dude? You're going up. I don't give a fuck. Cool. All right. So I went up and did like a new talent night and fucking did well. Or something. I would think, you know, having that confidence. Right. And then going Did I lose the... it? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. What am I doing oh different? We kind of did that recently. We got on a radio internet station, IPM.com, and uh, we were on the top 10, just going up and up. And then we were like number eight, and now we're not even on the top 10. It was like, <laughs> and you know, when it comes down to it, we're just having fun and all that, but like it still kind of hurts, man. Right, and yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Right. It does, man. Everybody's like, oh, bombing's part of it, bombing's part of it. Yeah, but every time I fucking bomb, I drive home every time going, you really shouldn't be doing it. You fucking <laughs> Exactly, yup, yeah. <laughs> it, it hurts, it fucking hurts. Fuck, man. <laughs> Have you ever pissed um, an audience member off with a joke? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm like, that's my thing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, uh... Not a good night unless somebody's pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, two months ago, I, um, I'm i doing a – it's a mic. It's a good mic, though. It's in Red Bank, New Jersey. It's a Dublin house. It's actually tomorrow night. Cool. But it's a really good mic, and uh, I usually get the crowd. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like – it's not even like a really an open mic. It's like more of a show, you know? Like, that's the stuff you work out, your material you think. Like, usually an open mic, you just say whatever you have written down in your friggin' notebook. But that mic, you're actually trying to, like, all right, let's see if this is actually funny because now I have an actual audience. Hmm. And um, there were these fucking two broads in the crowd, and they were like hot chicks, you know, like 20-year-old hot chicks, so just complete fucking assholes. And every comic that went up, they said something. Like, oh, oh great, another dick joke. Oh, oh, we're going to do this again. Like, it's like, all right, everybody's working out material, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Kicker, they were both comics. And I say that with the little air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. They 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 wow. fucking just kept shitting on everybody, and they were hot. So all the guys were didn't want to argue back with them, <laughs> you know, because it's like they're all trying to fuck them. Look, I'm 40 and I'm married with two kids. I'm not trying to fuck you. I'll look at you naked and jerk off, no problem. But I'm not trying to actually pursue <laughs> you to fuck you. <laughs> nice. Did you, so, did you go off on them? Well, no. I, I get up on stage. I'm like, and they're and they look. They went right before me, and both of them were awful. Like, unbearably bad. It was yeah. probably like they're hot, and some guys like you know you're really funny. You should be a comedian. Yeah, the exactly. Hotter, the hotter they are, the less funny girls exactly. often are. Like I, yeah. I, I so I feel like Lisa Lampanelli, the fattest pig, is, is the only one I think yeah, funny. Like, like a couple of them, like a couple of broads, but yeah, usually they're just pigs that are yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. You, you, Comedy become you know the the cool guy is never the funny guy you know what I mean like yeah. it's you know the guy who the fat kid who gets fucking made fun of his tits and mullet he becomes funny yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway the the the, the chick sitting there she has a little short skirt on with her fucking legs open so I'm looking up her skirt so of course I have to acknowledge it and, uh, <laughs> she had underwear on I'm like hey what are you fucking such you wear underwear tonight huh like just fucking with her. And uh, she got like all like all like like pissy. 
I go, you're the fucking one sitting here with your fucking legs open. What am I supposed to not look? Right. So they all get up. And they're like, you're a fucking asshole. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. I go, the only reason anybody's nice to you is because they want to fuck you. The only reason anybody's ever nice to you. Hey, fuck you, you fucking fat fuck. You're a fucking asshole. Blah, blah. So they start to leave, and I go, I hope you get cunt cancer, you twat. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Then I proceeded for the next eight minutes to yell at all the other comics in the room for not doing this earlier. <laughs> good, good. And the and the girls were comics, you said? Yeah, well, wannabes. You know, air quotes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. So. Wow, that's cra- I, I thought it was great they too. Do, like that whole hipster comedy room, you know? Oh, like the they fucking... do YouTube videos. Oh, like. yeah. <laughs> oh, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love too when I messaged you to to do an interview. You were like, Dave. Dave Hodge just the night before yeah. I told you uh, about us. I was like, that's fucking cool. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, I mean, him do a podcast every Monday. Okay. Uh, we're we're on the John Kulik uh, comedy circuit. It's a uh, bit. This guy John interviews all comics and shit. And I went on there as a guest. And um, then like two weeks later, he's like, Hey, you want to be? I'm re re. Uh, I'm changing out the lineup of the show. Do you want to be? A permanent part of the show. So, yeah, sure. Cool. So he, he he got rid of everybody else except Dave. He kept Dave. He got rid of everybody else he had on it. Wow. And, they yeah. made the cut. <laughs> they made the cut. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not allowed to curse on the show. He told me that. He said, "Yeah." He said, "You know, Anthony's gonna love being on your show because the show I do, we're not. We don't curse." Oh wow. Yeah. I figured that was just but, but the format. Here's the thing: soon as someone curses, you can curse. <laughs> So, because what, what they're trying to put it on TV is basically what it is. Um, where um, the the network thing, I I'm fucking awful with this shit. I can't remember the name of the network. <laughs> the network we're on, um, <laughs> they're trying to like put like a weekly show on like FiOS and like uh, <laughs> some of the public access channels around. I don't. I have no fucking clue. I'm the worst. Yeah. But we can't curse, but if we do curse. They can't use it at all because they don't know how to fucking dump or beep or anything. So as soon wow. as someone curses, it's just fuck, fuck, fuck. And then I curse more because I'm not allowed to curse for 45 minutes. They can't, they can't just, edit it like, out. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to ask. Edited. They can't, like, it's not pre recorded. Like, I, dude, I have, we, we brought that up. Like, well, can't you just beep it if someone curses? And they're like, no. We're like, all right. Uh, well, yeah. Right. What about a dump button, even if it is live? Like, where yeah, it's, it's I, the I delay know. and all. Yeah, like, well, that's fucking weird, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's weird. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> do you um do you tour a lot, Anthony, or do you just do, like, local? I'm pretty much local. I'm not, not local. Like, I go to New York, and I'll go to, uh, you know, I'm trying to get out to Vegas right now because I got family out there. Plus, I'm a creep, and I want to fucking go to porn stores. But <laughs> fucking... I, it's just, it's tough going, I mean, I can go somewhere for free, but <laughs> that kind of sucks, you know what I mean? You're driving all the way to fucking Cleveland yeah. for the exposure, Dude, and then yeah. you never get called back. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to latch on to a famous comedian and have me be their lackey. That's what I'm trying to do. Exactly. It's not like <laughs> Fuck, man. I go after Jimmy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, well, I, I was relieving a couple, a bunch of times. Wow. And we didn't work well together, and he's always like, oh, you know, he, you're, you're a fucking, you're a good guy, like, when you open for me. So we're, like, friends, but he's sober now. So he doesn't need, like, that's how Norton and Florentine got started. He, they used to drive around with Bob Levy, and he was an alcoholic. <laughs> so that's why Norton was the designated driver, and uh, Florentine was, like, this long-haired heavy metal dude who used to get chicks. So that's how those two... Those two were like a year in a comedy and opening for Bob Levy everywhere. You well, know? I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. Because uh, I think the first time I listened to, uh, I heard about Jimmy, he was opening for Dice. Yeah, in Vegas. He was, uh, yeah, he did a, a year out there, he was playing. Wow. Yeah. And then that's how he got on ONA. Like, he, he came on with Dice. And I hated Jimmy at first, dude. I was like, who is this fucking jerk off? And then, like, <laughs> a week or two later, you know, I was like, hey, he grew on me. I was like, he's, he's fucking funny, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, uh, where, where's uh, your favorite place you performed at? Um, I, I like to, I, I did the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City a couple times. Nice. That place is pretty cool. 
Uh, it's a nice, it's a you know good room. It's inside scores, so you're actually inside the strip club, but you're not like they have like five different rooms, so you're in a room a different room, but like okay. you're still in the strip club. <laughs> yeah, and the last time we went there, fucking some stripper was like flirting my wife, and I'm going, I'm totally cool. I'm totally cool with this. Mm-hmm. No. She didn't work out for me. Though. I was trying to my wife to bring home a stripper. It wasn't working out. She wasn't going for it. I was like, I don't even need to touch her. I'm like, you two just fucking mash clans. I'll jerk off in the corner. That's, that's, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Where in Jersey are you? Uh, I live in Hazlitt. So, uh, you know where Sandy Hook is? Yeah. We're right near Sandy Hook. So, yeah, that's how I tell everybody. Because everybody goes, where? Yeah, I was going to say, I knew where it was, but I had to think for a minute. But, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're by uh, LBI. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's that. I, I thought you guys were farther south. Because Dave's like, oh, yeah, they're way down South Jersey. So I'm thinking you guys are, like, fucking Cape May. Yeah, I don't know, like Wildwood. Yeah, but, mm-hmm. like, yeah, it kind of is. Like, I say, like, Tom's River is kind of like, you know, the, the, the most south point of North Jersey, like. You know, like that's because we had a one of our buddies is a comedian from uh, Vegas and New York City, Bobby Massey, and he was gonna come down the one time he was home, but he's like, "Yeah, no, that's a little too far." Right. Okay. Because I, I think if we were like seaside area, he would have, he would have, he would have came down. Yeah, I mean, are we are that far, much farther than sea, to seaside, right? It's... No, about twenty more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. He already drove the fucking hour. What's twenty more minutes? <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> I know. I was I was fucking hitting him up. I was like, dude, yeah, you you, you should come down. I told him I'd even send our uh, intern to, to pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have an intern? Yeah, uh, an executive intern. Executive, yes. He's uh, he's in charge of the other interns, but they but haven't they, come they, by. Yeah, I they think, just keep on. I think he's like a uh, real fucking like Hitler because <laughs> right. all these guys stop coming into our show, bro. Yeah, I mean, I let them do whatever they want. <laughs> fucking too bossy. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you say "love you, love the show" for when you first get on. <laughs> well, you can't say bossy anymore. Huh? You can say cunty, not bossy. <laughs> oh, wasn't that a thing? You were gonna, we had a band bossy for a while. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh my, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, band bossy. Yeah the, yeah, the good old feminist. Because nothing screams fucking fun as a barrel of monkeys than a feminist blogger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna ask you your inspirations in comedy, but you said uh, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy's Jimmy. Uh, I mean, I remember being a little kid and having the the young comedian special come on, and fucking Dice came on, and I was like, I was like eight years old, going, "This is the greatest fucking thing I've ever seen." Like, I didn't even understand what the hell you're talking about. I was like, "This is fucking awesome." <laughs> I remember you know, my friend like Dave Dice. in middle school. Yeah, he's like, "You got to see this guy, fucking Dice. He's awesome." And then uh, right. also uh, Doctor Dirty. A couple of my friends yeah, in high school were, like, really into, yeah. <laughs> and now, now uh, I, he hasn't been around in a while, but he was he's early O&A as uh, Stephen Lynch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Stephen Lynch. Stephen is Lynch nice. is fucking awesome, too. Yeah, Stephen Lynch. I've been fucking laughing your dick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> SBA, you remember that? When, they, <laughs> when Jay Moore wrote him a song? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Full-blown AIDS? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jay Moore's another one. Holy shit, he's yeah, fucking funny. I liked when he went on like even later. He hadn't been on in years, and like I forget who it was. Like the guy's name was Bobby, and Jay Moore just got naked, ran in the studio, and jumped on the dude's back. Yeah. Like it was just pumping him, saying no homo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, they had, they had some great fucking, great, yeah. great I, years, and it's just so sad to see it degrade the way it's gone, man. Yeah, I know. It's like it's like your fucking parents just split up. Yup, exactly. Even when uh, even when they f- first got fired, it just felt same with like even Ron and Fez, like when Fezzy left, and like I, I didn't even know that Ron was still gonna be doing a show, but it's like you've listened to this show for so many years, it's like a fucking part of you is fucking gone, man. Yeah. Well, it took like a week to realize Fez was gone because he never talked. That's what but, Slim was uh, saying yeah. earlier. Because he got into it. Fucking Fez hadn't talked for years. I think we got a call, uh, Anthony. Oh, Ron was still going to be doing a show, but it's like, this was a show for so many years. Like, 
Robin Slip Show. Hi. Who's this? This is Anthony Enos' favorite clean comedian, the Hodger. Hey, hey, sweetie. Hey, honey. <laughs> How's your cock tonight? Oh. It's fantastic. I was just looking at fucking bodybuilder porn. It was a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's I going on, Dave? How, I, how much I was into chick bodybuilders until about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing the wrong thing in the Navy. <laughs> uh, when I was in the Army, I was getting into some of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was more into, like, I went to Thailand, so it was more like trannies. Lady you know, boys. Yeah, and the sex swing? <laughs> yeah. No, the never went to lady. <laughs> oh, you didn't do the sex swing of the peso lady? Oh, my God. You missed out on Thailand, too. I heard little boys are popular there. (laughs) (laughs) When I went to Thailand, you had to do a package check. As soon as you sit down at the fucking, at the bar, two girls run up and sit in your lap, and you had to fucking smack them in the pussy to make sure they didn't have a dick. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Then they they want you to buy the pink pink ladies. (laughs) 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 I can buy pink ladies out of here, but beat us. What's a pink lady? Uh, it's just a, a made-up drink that has no alcohol that you just over, overpay the bar so these <laughs> girls jerk you off in the fucking bar. <laughs> I thought it was like a pink sock. <laughs> oh, no, it's like a Shirley Temple, but pink. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with a happy ending. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. What's that? What? Do like blowjob roulette over there? <laughs> blowjob roulette. Yeah, like one and after like another, or like two yeah, at the same do, time? Like, it has something to do with like you drink the shots and some whore gives you a blowjob over there. No, no, no. They're under the table. Yeah, yeah. And you got to yeah. figure out who's getting blown by the facial expressions. Like you got to have a poker. <laughs> Could it be like a beard brushing your thigh and shit? It could be anything. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Have you been that beat? No. Fuck. I've just seen it before. <laughs> you get to see if it's a girl or a fucking tranny. You got all types of eyes. Pete watches it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm 40. I don't even care if it's a fucking guy anymore. You, look, you sort of look like a girl. Come on. Caitlin, you got tits. Let's go. <laughs> I've, been, I've been looking at these fucking chick bodybuilders, and some of them have like a fucking one-inch dick. Like a whole thing. <laughs> this could be my new obsession for like the next two weeks is fucking chick bodybuilders. Bodybuilders. <laughs> I'm totally going to look up chick bodybuilder porn after the oh, show. Jesus Christ. Denise Messino. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Dude, a three inch split or a thing? She's all woman, Did... but she's packing about three. All Denise right. Messino. Denise... All right, I'm ready. Really noted. Up. <laughs> we have to bring that up at our entertainment section on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I think that subject will be frowned upon. You got to clean that up, though. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dave, where are you performing, dude? Actually, I'm meeting up with Anthony tomorrow to go by Dublin House. That's in uh, Red Bank? Yeah. Nice, dude. And then I'm going to be down at Lakehurst Tuesday night. Cool. Yeah, that's real close. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's actually that guy uh, Mangelli's running a show down there. He wants me down there too. Is that? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah man. You know, Tom, I, I, I haven't got him too many spots. And, you know, he put the show together. It doesn't include me. What Whatever. Fuck. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> 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 it could be worse. It could be one of your favorite female comedians, you know, that are on there with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> a nice guys, red-headed lady. We, we have to wrap this up, guys, but where can everybody find you, Anthony? All right. Uh, I am on Twitter at uh, Twitter and Instagram at uh, the Anthony Ennis. And I know it's uh, a douchey name, but comic Anthony Ennis was taken, so eat my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much for talking to us, brother. Oh, not a problem. It was a good, it was a good time. All right. All right uh, we'll see you guys. See you, Dave. We'll talk to you soon, bro. Yeah, I'll see you at the festival show. Nice. All Fuck right. yeah. Feats of strength. All right. Later. Later, guys. See you later.
I'm going. All right, guys, we're taking a break. We